All right, Francisco Benzanea is the president of the Biophysical Society. Uh, thank you for joining us, Francisco. Uh, right what now. are the major themes for the 2014 meeting? Well, you know, the society has always com common themes that don't change along the way. But this year we have emphasized a few ones, like for example, molecular motors, not only in vitro, but in whole cell functioning. Then personalized medicine, for example, then I'm, I have a few things that I have written here. Biophysics in industry is another thing that we're emphasizing. One thing that we should really remember that this is the 100th anniversary of, of X-ray crystallography. So this is going to be a big meeting on that too, yes. And as president, I know that making improvements is important to you. Mm -hmm. What changes to the annual meeting are you excited about and how have you been getting society members more engaged and involved? Yeah, one of the, the way we do it is that we restructure essentially every year, this year in particular, the, the way that we, um, we put the themes of the different symposia and workshop to coincide with the abstract that the people are um, sending. So that way we in, in, increase the pool of people and that way we bring people who have never been involved in the society before. So that's one of the ways we do it. And this is done every year because this is a constant evolving situation. That biophysics, biophysics is really changing all the time. Yeah. That's fantastic, Francisco. Now, as president and a native of Chile, I know the international component of this meeting is important for you, obviously. Now, tell us why it's important and outreach to attendees all across the world. Well, you know, the, this is the largest biophysics meeting in the world, the one here, the annual meeting mm -hmm. of the Biophysical Society. And one has to consider that um, the society has 36% of its membership is actually from abroad. So you understand that it's for us it's very important that all those people are considered, you know, especially and they're brought here because it's not easy. Sometimes they have problems with visas, so uh, the society sends official letters so they can go to the consulate to obtain visas and things like that. So we think that the, the, the importance is not only to come to the meeting, but also in the participation of the governance of the society. That we have several people who are from abroad and we continue striving in that direction. Right? And Francisco, as outgoing president of such a prestigious organization, what advice do you have for upcoming scientists and why was it important for you to take such a big role in the organization? Well, uh, let, me, let me say first that the, it's not such a big role because uh, in fact the um, the society is a very well-oiled machine in the sense that it's a council and we have administrators there that really take care of everything. So the president just is sort of precise things, but it's not much of a job. But the, in, in terms of incoming uh, people, I would say that um, I would recommend that anybody that is doing physics in biology, just using tools of physics or developing new tools in, uh, in the physics world, should come to the society. And, and this is something that is important because biophysics is evolving continuously and the physics that is involved in the biophysics is all over the place in many places which are not thinking they are doing biophysics. So I encourage them to join the society and also to come to the meeting. You see, in, the, in, the, in my case, um, my first meeting was in 1970. And uh, since then I have come to every single one. I have learned so much and I have interacted so much with the people that I thought that I have to give something back. That, that's why I took the presidency. That's it. Well, Francisco Benzanillo, thank, thank you. you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome.